Today, we have the Amiga Speedmaster Sapphire Crystal version and also the Hesalite version. And we're going to be counting down five differences between these two models and we're saving the best until last. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison as always. And before we start this video, I was digging through my stats the other day and realized that 82% of you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. If you could do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button, it's my goal to get this to between 10 and 0% and you guys would help me so much. Okay, so let's start with the boring one, which we need to cover first. Let's start with point number five, which is the difference between Hesalite and Sapphire Crystal. So when you look at the Sapphire Crystal, you'll notice a cloudy border around the Sapphire Crystal when reflecting it in the light. Whereas when you do this with Hesalite, it's more domed and it's a lot clearer and cleaner to look into. To add to that, the Hesalite version is obviously a lot softer than the Sapphire Crystal glass version. And the reason that they used Hesalite in the space shuttle on their space missions is so that the glass wouldn't shatter and poke holes in their spacesuit. If you can imagine being up in space, the last thing you want is sharp particles floating around in the zero gravity, the zero Gs. Coming in at number four is a game changer to a huge amount of people, including myself. In the Sapphire Crystal version, you can see into that mechanical movement, the beautiful mechanical movement. Whereas on the Hesalite version, you can't see into the movement. The, the, the case back is closed. So you can't see the beating heart of your watch. Now, if you want to stay close and true to the authentic watches that were actually sent into space, then yes, the Hesalite is for you. But I prefer seeing into that movement. The next point coming in at number three is the difference of polished steel versus kind of brushed steel. So brushed steel, when you reflect it in the light, isn't half as reflective as polished. And normally, typically speaking, dress watches have a lot more polished than they do brushed, and sports watches have a lot more brushed than they do polished. That is just kind of the norm in the industry. Now, on the Sapphire Crystal version, it's more dressy, so it has polished metal running down the bracelet. Whereas on the Hesalite version, it doesn't have any polished metal. And this kind of gives it more of a, more of a tool watch feel, more of a, a tool to use instead of just to look pretty. Before we go into point number two, I want, to, I want to really geek out with you here. I've always wondered, this is me being a total nerd, what weighs more between the Hesalite and between the Sapphire Crystal Glass Speedmaster? And the reason being is that technically speaking, you should find that the Hesalite weighs more due to that closed case back. But let's figure it out. Now, no links have been taken out of these watches. This is the Sapphire Crystal variant that I'm about to put on these scales. So. The Sapphire Crystal variant comes in at 142 grams. Now let's get the Hesalite version on and see what that comes in at. So the Hesalite version comes in at 136. So the Sapphire Crystal, despite not having a closed case back, comes in heavier. I was just thinking guys, while we have our tools out, let's look at the thickness of both of these models and see which one comes out thicker. Technically speaking, this should be the domed uh, Hesalite. So the Sapphire Crystal Glass comes in at 15 millimeters, maybe just under 15 millimeters. When we look at the Hesalite version, it comes in at the same, but at 15 millimeters. It's really hard to choose between these two. Anyway, I digress massively. So coming in at number two, we have a very subtle difference, but it means a lot to a hell of a lot of people. When you look at the Amiga logo on the face of this watch, on the Sapphire Crystal version, you'll see that it's polished and it reflects the light really, really nicely. However, on the other version, the Hesalite version, this is actually printed in white. Now, this is totally up to you. It's totally up to your personal preference, but I quite like the white here. Before we move on to the final point and the really special one that I absolutely love, it's time for the wrist check. What is on your wrist today? Please let me know in the comments. I love seeing all the weird and wonderful watches that you guys have on. Does anyone have a Speedmaster on? That's the real question. I currently have a Garmin Mark Gen 2 Titanium on. Uh, please don't kill me in the comments. I know that it's a smartwatch, but I have disconnected it from my phone. It's good for tracking sleep and fitness, and I've been getting more into that, hence the military jacket feel today. Yeah, I like it. 
Last, but certainly not least, this is honestly one of my favorite watch nerdy details. When you look on the glass, the sapphire crystal glass, and you look in detail on the glass, you'll see nothing. You'll see that it's clean, it's clear, and there's no engravings there. Whereas, when you look on the Hesalite, you'll see a tiny little Easter egg just above the middle of this watch, where the second hand meets all the cogs and all that kind of stuff. You'll see on the glass a tiny little etched Amiga logo, and that is pretty damn cool. Price difference on these models is pretty damn substantial. On the Sapphire Crystal variant, it comes in at 7,500 pounds, whereas on the Hesalite variant, it comes in at 6,600. If you want to be true to history, if you want to be true to the astronauts and you want to be true to yourself, go for the Hesalite. It's awesome. It's a piece of history on your wrist and damn, Amiga smashed it with these. Thank you guys so much for watching this Chisholm Hunter video. My name is Harrison, as always. If you have enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button or follow us on Instagram, Chisholm Hunter Watches. And we'll see you guys real soon.